that I was beginning to understand because I, I, it, I was really frustrated with um, uh, the conceptual absence of thinking about it. Uh, in, in Brazil, in, in here, I, I, you know, I, I'm still doing research, and, and it was very happy that I came across the concept of collective global resentment, and uh, it's a lot of work producing in, in other places too. But I, I think that this is a process. Sometimes I think that, you know, I, I see as a hardening, but sometimes I I, I see as more as um, um, as, as as it's being more revealed. Like, I don't know if there are more races now than before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or right. more whites now than before, but it, this is just more named. Right. And, but as it is named, it, it is also becomes hotter. And, and it I has an know. edge, it has an edge. Yes, and at least people are able to confront it. Once, once you name it and you identify it, you can confront it. And I think that this hardening comes from this confrontation. That's why I said it, and you know, it's, it, it's not just like people just decided to be white or decided just to to study whites or to think about whiteness. It, it's really a confrontation that's happening, and this confrontation is, I, as I said, I think it comes from um, the, the black movements, and it, it, it didn't come to you know it's 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 a dialectical um, relationship, but it comes from this confrontation being more open now, and and. and Black people just stopping being so, especially there, um, um, so accepting of what's happen what happens. I think it was just more challenging. My, my experience too, I think, you touched in the paper, was that we did this social <laughs> movement that happened under Lula and Dilma. You see, I think that creates a sharpness. So you have the black movement being a movement with more visibility that I haven't seen before. I mean, in, in the space that they're in there. But also, like, the dissatisfaction with, suddenly you can have a maid. You know, oh, yeah. like the shopping malls where your kids would be safe, now there are different bodies in the uh -huh. space. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, I have, I mean, two years ago, I think that's where my class, I was in my sabbatical in Brazil, in Ceará, huh. in Fortaleza. The universe put me in an apartment like that with my family, you know, the balconies even. Mm. And I was mm. seeing those things. Let me see. The, the start of this, yeah. this this movement. But I mean, even among academicists, I was in a reunion with professors, and the conversation come like, I bought this new AC and my fascinator, you know, the, yeah. the diet. Yeah. Really, yeah. Said. She took a picture of it because she wants to buy one for her. Uh, I mean, that was extremely offensive, uh -huh, uh -huh. you see, and I think it's a good link to, because mm -hmm. in my eight months on, on Fortaleza, you know, if I was with Unifor, mm -hmm. but also with the Federal, I was in public health, so it's a more mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I ain't um, Thank you for the talk, you know, it gives me hope and gives me, and uh, it also, another anecdote is like, when I was getting all kinds of trouble in those universities, they said, you should go to, the grad students would say, you should go to the Federal in El Salvador, mm. in Bahia, you know, because mm. they deal with the issues where like, we don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't talk about those things here. Yeah. <laughs> Because that approach, like, they make studies with people of the SUS, you know, our universal health system. And they are the poor, they are the racialized. And I would ask questions about how race enter on those studies. They said, oh, it complicates the research. And we don't have time to publish. And then we are losing the money. Mm. You see? I mean, yeah. a, and it's even in talks I give, uh, or interactions I have at Tuny Campi, you know, that's mm. where I got my undergrad degree. I have mm. anthropologists that really, when they deal with race, they deal with the race of the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they never racialize their own race, or they never honor like people who, because as see as there, some black people, some poor people, I mean, the feminist movement, you know? Like, so that would be my, how, what they're facing now with those things, you know, your own universe, but, because it's easy to promote social justice, when the researcher is not 
Well, she happens to be at an a, a, a afro Brazilian majority university, right? Yeah, yeah. Although the faculty isn't. No, we, we're having now a discussion of, of um, uh, yeah, quotas for the, for, for the professor. For yeah, because I visit the university. But mm -hmm. this is, it, it's being really, yeah, because we have the majority of students are black and the large majority of professors, which is my generation, is it, it, white. Why? I think that maybe you know the next generation things are going to change because my generation. You know, when I went to to college, I maybe in, in, I was in, in social sciences, which is, has more um, of black students. Who I only had like I don't know four or five in Bahia. In Bahia. In Bahia. In Bahia. I think the percentage, even with the quarter, which is like three hundred percent of increase in the number of of black students in, in, in the university is still kind of 5% of the total of students in the public in, in, in federal universities is black. Even with 300% increase, mm -hmm. which is like, but uh, there's something that you brought that is very interesting, which is the 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 the, the, the uh, the profession de empregada doméstica, the maid's um, profession was a reg regulament, reg regulated uh, in those years, and that was, it caused an uproar, it was just like middle class families were deeply disturbed in, in this main, main identity because they couldn't have maids full time anymore, even if they had the money. But they don't think they didn't think it was fair. <laughs> it was just like this: the, the <laughs> idea of what was fair, what was just, was just so funny because they they had the money, but they didn't think they deserved it. I was like, how they don't deserve it? They work here for like ten hours a day, and they don't deserve to because no, that's you know they have to keep um, because then they had then it would inflate the market. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they have such a crazy arguments, I cannot like, reproduce them, yeah. Because this course in, C in Sierra is like, we don't have black people. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are in Bahia, but we don't have black people. That's we don't the have discourse. Stop, the stop, discourse. Yeah, stop the discourse. Yeah, stop Yeah, but I, I'm talking about professors. You know, yeah. I'm not talking, I'm talking sociologists of medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have some of them here at the master, so it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other questions? Um, I think you, you touched on this, but I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about how categories of race that indicate some mixture are sort of changing balance in, in this context of like the hardening of women. Yeah. Yeah. Something comes yeah. Yes. Um, there's a lot. Like I, I follow a lot of my students on Facebook. And I'm facing with particularly for research, not only, but <laughs> but uh, but I have all my students are, and they post very often um, uh, things like "Don't call me Pretinho. I'm not your preto. I'm not this. I'm not that." They really refuse. And like I can't say anymore if I go like you know depending on in my house I can say that. Moreno because they still buy into this mixing thing, and uh, which is which is real, but it, it's also it, it's very funny because you know I don't consider myself deep somewhere that I, I'm white. It, I mean, you know, I because I grew up in this I you know, in the ideological framework that we all mix and we are, um, you know, but whiteness is not about this, and it, and it was a point in the black movement. To say that whiteness is in, in, in mixed races is not about being really mixed or not. It's a political stand. Mm -hmm. So as a political stand, they, yeah, I cannot go to my university and say now I'm a Moreno, because people are going to think that I'm just buying into the racial democracy mm -hmm. myth. If you say now that you are, you know, and, and even in in in, in the um, in a tratamento like personal uh, interactions. Um, li like, you know, before you could call it Vinca Neguinho, come here Neguinho, come here Nego, if you're in, in, a, in a, no, people don't want to accept Unless that. you're black. Unless, people do, yes. Like black people do that with one another. Yes, they yeah. can do it uh, with one another, yes. But so I you can, can, you know, I can call it a fabulous 
Yes. Exactly. 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 But, but, yes. but I don't let other people do it. And, uh, you know, we're talking about Brazil, but, you know, I, and, and then when That's the true. film I'm Not Your Negro came out here, it was there all over. The students posted endless, Eu Não Sou Seu Negro. You know, they really like that phrase, like, don't, don't treat me in, in, in this condescending way of calling me Negro or Neguinho as, 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 as if it's a nice way to call, call me Negro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of discomfort. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah, we'll talk about it more. So that makes me want to know, is, is the black movement growing? I mean, is, is that kind of consciousness that you were just talking about, does that translate into, into people feeling identified with any of the black movements or affiliated with? Yeah. Um, I can talk about my own experience, but I don't know if that's true all over the country. But in the Hekonko, in, in the university where I, I, I study, definitely. Mm. Definitely. And it's grown. I like most students. Um, you know, like they they come into school and they're very shy with their uh, identity. But after a year, and we have a very, very strong black movement there, they all, like within a year, they consider themselves, they self identify as black. Hmm. And um, also, I don't know if um, you know this Heaja, the, the, mo the black movement Heaja or Saramorta, Heaja Saramorta, um, which is a, a, a Kind of separatist movement. I don't know if you are, are, are any of you familiar with Haja. You. It's you? akin to BLS. Is what? It's akin to Black Lives Matters in some ways. Exactly. Exactly. And um, yes, and they they it's they, a, they it's a, been against police brutality. Uh -huh. Yes, against murder, 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 murder of black mm -hmm. yes, people. Yes. Um, yeah, but they also. Uh, kind of um, growing, they're growing. I, I mean, I, I, I was in their um, rallies um, a few years ago, and, and, and it's amazing how much people are, are gathering uh, with Heaja. And uh, it's just not, not only the, the, black, the organized black movements, but it's just right. a, a, a consciousness yeah. of being black that is being, I think, that's been growing so much. So much. Not all, all of them organized, but you know, black feminists and women's movements, black women's movements, and black sisterhood, and uh, all kinds of, of, of assertion of blackness mm -hmm. and things growing a lot. But you know, in some of it, it, it's quite separatist. Like and, and, is quite separatist. And I think that's interesting because I think it's in contrast to, I mean, I'm sorry to cut into it, but no, that's, I think, part of what your people are reacting to, right? And the people you're yes. talking about. Is you know if you if you think of Bahia thirty years ago, or whatever that I think of Bahia thirty years ago, most of the people who were there, who were white in the academy, who I knew, were like kind of oblivious, mm -hmm. like they didn't have a discourse yeah, exactly. Exactly. for or against yeah. black people. They just yeah. they they just didn't even think of no, you know, didn't think about it. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks for for your presentation is, I was thinking, uh, actually after many asked the question, I, I came up with another question that not necessarily related to your presentation, but which is that, that one of the, one of the uh, observations that I, I have been studying and be part of actually mm -hmm. also, black movement in Latin America for some time, and one of the things that that we have observed is that that being spearheading uh, networks of, of black movement throughout the region, uh, the, the, the Afro-Brazilian social movement that have different ways of understanding and, and given such a big country different ways of, of, of figuring out whether or not that is an articulated movement in the whole country, etc. Uh, but being a mayor force after the PT, uh, to a large extent, black activism in Brazil was 
integrated into the state and and you know now with the the uh, gold pay etc you know it's this is one of the questions that questions that 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 we it haunts everybody which is you know what kind of chiefs uh, black activism is going to take in Brazil after the coup and, and if there is going to be a point of regrouping, etc. along with the, the left uh, as a whole, etc. But, but, you know, which is an open question. But I wanted to say something else that, that was just, you know, triggered by, by, by the last question, uh, which is that, you know, in, in, in the U.S., no, and, and you have mentioned some of that, uh, why studies it has been actually was started by black people, not by Du Bois, etc. And the people who do white studies, they recognize that. And in in Latin America, to a large extent, there has been a lack of of uh, white studies and, and of of understanding that that whiteness is, is is a primary category in terms of of the study of race and of racial politics, etc. And, and Brazil actually have more than other places, no, they leave Sognik and, and Soli Carneiro, et cetera, and you know, this is, this, this is a welcome kind of contribution to, to that growing body of research in Brazil. But I wanted to tell you that, that in other places it's emerging also, and it's, it's, it's good. I, I don't know if you are familiar with the work of Mara Viveros in, in Colombia, for example. No. Because Mara is doing some research that is similar to yours, actually. Oh, She's doing... It. She's studying uh, uh, how in, in political discourse, in popular culture, uh, in, in, and in the political culture, in uh, hegemonic political culture in, in Colombia, the, that is, there are those discourses of whiteness, some, sometimes hidden. And so reading that when it's not necessarily explicit. So I, I, I think that, that that will be a good dialogue because it, it's part of the, the emerging dialogue between Colombia and, and Brazil in terms of comparative racial politics. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to look into it, definitely. Yeah. And um, uh, in regard to that, you know, because um, a lot of social movements and people are accused of leaders of social movements of being bought off by, bought off? Mm -hmm. by well, yes. Into um, the government of PT and, and kind of kind of betrayed the movement. There was a lot of accusations. But I think that they also forget that PT's governance was also a result of the struggle of social movements. Oh well, yeah, I would say so, that will yes, be. Yes, so yeah. it, it, it is because, uh, you know, like the MST, for example, which is, I, I, I love a lot of the meetings with MST, and that was, that's something that people really talk about, how the, the main leaders, once they were in, in the government, they kind of forgot the other people. So there's also this struggle, and we don't know what it's going to be now, because um, also, like, we like a lot of things about PT, but in PT's government, also governance, also, uh, the, you know, there's a very few uh, redistribution of land, actual redistribution of land. So it, it's got a lot of problems, and you criticize it a lot. So we don't know what, what's, what's going to happen. You know, nothing good comes out of it, but um, yes, I think that people are, uh, are going to, the, the feeling that we have now sometimes is just like we have to start all over again, like, you know, the, the grassroots movement, because even the grassroots movement kind of got lost in this process, and now everything is, is, is more difficult to kind of build up again from, you know, from the base. I think that was my deception, you know, I mean, it was the cup, and, but it's how they lost historical perspective. They couldn't go to certain parts they went. You know, I remember Lula in the 80s saying, if you are poor and you come out of time, you go to the jail. And if you're rich, you became a minister. And that's <laughs> what people are saying, you know. Like, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not, I never bought, I mean, I, Let's not get into that conversation. Oh, but, but, but I mean, <laughs> although those, those things was, was like, when I see who are doing the, 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 the protests, when my father-in-law is going to the streets, I say, oh my God, I think they're terrible, you know, because they're, <laughs> they're going to be more white and rich than he is, you know, the discourse of PT, you know, creating corruption that's never been there, the lack of ignorance, understand how media operates and all those things. Yeah. But part of my heart was broken. 
you see, because they lost some important historical yeah. perspective. Yeah. You see, and now the good got, yeah. and then they got out, and then all those things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we all kind of heartbroken. Lula's oh, running for president in 2018. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you get well, away, if, if they, yeah, yeah, if they don't get him first, yeah. they're trying yeah. to get him yeah. first. You have a question? Yeah, well, I was just going to ask about one the, one. Um, I was struck by your, your, your pluralization of the middle class, as mm -hmm. the middle class is in your title, and I was wondering if you could talk about that a little bit more. Is that a sort of gesture? Towards the diversification of the middle class that came with the Lula boom, yeah. and that is does that sort of reference to the, uh -huh. I guess the class say is that yeah. kind of what you're pointing to there? Or? No, I no. don't want to study this new, which is being called the new middle classes. That's okay. not my, but um, my universe of study um, of, of you know of the people who are considered class C and who have with the consumer power and whatever goes to be called, because I do not consider them middle class. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of things written about what defines middle class and, uh, and taking into account a lot of other more subjective um, uh, features, markers, they, they cannot be, because although they, have, they had, in the past, a more consumer power, they could buy television, they could buy this, and the education is pretty much the same, and, and education is one of the main markers um, of middle class. And, and so, yes, so there are people who go through higher education, but it's still it's not the, what they've been calling middle class, the, the new middle class. New so, so are you talking about the upper, upper, and upper middle class, and middle class and upper middle class? Is that what you mean? Yes, okay. middle, middle, and middle upper class. Uh, that's okay. kind of my universe. But even within the middle, middle classes, which is like, you know, let's see, there are a lot of fractures, including uh, fractures in, um, in shades of whiteness in terms of uh, where you, 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 whiteness in the northeast and the middle class is being in the north. It's not the same as it, it being middle class. In, in you know, they wait until they get to Curitiba. Yes, <laughs> so you middle class. Oh, they don't even. Minas. Yes, yes. In Minas, we still kind of factor that. Yeah. 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 The con you know the intersection between class and, and race changes as you, you change not only locations but also education. Mm -hmm. you know, people from the middle classes who rose to the middle class are different right. from the people from the middle class who went down the ladder from mm -hmm. the upper middle class to become middle class. So there's a lot of other variables. So I think middle class is, is, is a more kind of plural identity. Okay. Well, thank you.